Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to show you is that if we're given a parametric equation something like above here how do we find dy dx? How do we find the gradient at any point on the curve? Well you can do it quite easily without having to find the Cartesian equation without having to express y in terms of x. And the way we do it is through the chain rule. The chain rule, remember, is dy by dx always equals dy over some d something as long as you times it by the same d something over dx. So what is that d something? Well in the case when you've got your parameter as t then we would use dt. I'll show you another example later on where we do a trigonometric parametric equation. So in order to find dy dx then we use the chain rule. So what is dy by dt? Well we can take this and we can see that dy by dt if we differentiate it in the usual way the first term is going to be 6t second term will be plus 2 and the differential of the constant here is 0. So we've got dy by dt. Now when it comes to dt dx, well the way around that is that we find dx by dt rather than dt by dx. dx by dt would be just simply 5. So it follows from this that dt by dx is 1 over dx by dt. In other words, one fifth. So we can put these two ideas together and find dy by dx. So therefore we have that dy by dx equals dy by dt, which is simply 6t plus 2, and we multiply that by dt by dx, the one fifth. And what you end up with is 6t plus 2 all over 5. Now some people quite often don't write this particular result knowing that you're going to have to find dx by dt you can often see this quoted as dy by dt but instead of this result they just simply divide by dt x by dt, which is essentially another way of looking at this then. We could have said dy by dt, 6t plus 2, divided by dx by dt, the 5. 6t plus 2, all over 5. We well, don't have to have just equations in this particular format. You can have trigonometric types. And here's an example. You could have, say, x equals 3 sine t and y equals 4t plus cos t. So, if we had to find dy by dx, we'd do much the same kind of thing as we did here. You might even like to pause the video if you're happy with differentiating trigonometric functions and have a go. OK, well, let's just see how you got on, if you did have a go. Well, we find dy by dt first. So we've got dy by dt equals differential of 4t with respect to t is just 4. Differential of cos t is going to be minus sine t. And for dx by dt, differential of 3 sine t is going to be 3 cos t. So therefore, when it comes to dy by dx, we've got dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So dy dt is 4 minus sine t, and we can think of it as divided by dx by dt which will be 3 cos t. And you can't really do that much with that. 
Okay, well I've got another one for you to try. Okay, here it is. X equals 1 over t squared plus t and y equals t squared minus 1 over 2t cubed. So just try and find dy dx and simplify your answer as much as possible. Right, well let's see how you got on. Well, we're going to need to find dx by dt, so I would want to simplify this term, think of it as t to the minus 2, and then we've got plus t. So when it comes to differentiating this with respect to t, dx dt equals minus 2t to the minus 3, and then if we differentiate that plus t, we end up with plus 1. And I'd prefer to simplify this, rewrite this plus term first, so we have 1 minus, and then for this term, 2 over t cubed. OK, so that's dx by dt. When it comes to differentiating y with respect to t, we've got dy by dt equals, well we're going to first of all need to tidy this up actually, so I'm going to change this term to minus t to the minus 3 over 2. So when it does come to differentiating this we get for the first term 2t and differentiating this term we have plus 3t to the minus 4 all over 2. And tidy this up we get 2t plus 3 over 2t to the 4. So Therefore, for dy by dx, we have dy by dt, so that's going to be 2t plus 3 over 2t to the 4, and that is all divided by dx by dt, 1 minus 2 over t cubed. So you can see we need to simplify this now and the way I would do this is to times top and bottom by 2t to the 4 because I can see that t cubed goes into 2t to the 4. I'll just write it in red here times top and bottom by 2t to the 4 over 2t to the 4 as if we're multiplying by 1. It doesn't alter the value of this just the appearance. So when we multiply 2t with 2t to the 4, we get 4t to the 5. And for this second term, this 2t to the 4 would cancel out with this, just leaving me with the plus 3. And then, when it comes to the bottom, it will be 1 times 2t to the 4, which will be 2t to the 4. And then for this term, the t cubed will cancel into the 2t to the 4, just leaving me with 2t. So it will be 2 times 2t, which will be the minus 4t. Okay? Now you could even leave it like that, but do you notice that the denominator factorizes? So I think I'll take that opportunity to factorize it. And if we do that, we can pull out 2t as a common factor and then we have got t cubed minus 2. Alright, so that's how you do parametric differentiation. Later tutorials I'll show you how we can apply this to finding the gradient at any point on a curve at particular points, the equations of tangents, normals and locating stationary points. So. I hope you'll have a look at those and that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.